Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another Crafty Decor Adventure. Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I am so excited to share with you guys 10 DIY Dollar Tree Christmas in July decor crafts. So if you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now if it is hot outside like it is here, it is literally 101 degrees here today. Kick on some A pour some lemonade and let's get into some Christmas crafting. Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. First Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with y'all how to make a super adorable plunger Christmas tree. Okay, so from the Dollar Tree, grab one of their plungers and then you're going to take just some burlap or any color of ribbon to wrap the handle of your plunger in. So you're going to hot glue it at the top and give it a little wrap to wrap and then give it another little squirt of hot glue and just continue to wrap that handle with some type of ribbon or fabric or I'm using this burlap so then once you have that done you can go ahead and hot glue the base of it and actually if you're able to get that Dollar Tree sticker off you could probably maybe just leave the wooden part as is but I do like to go ahead and cover mine just kind of for decor purposes you're going to flip your plunger inside out and then plunge it down into one of those Dollar Tree buckets and then I have just this kind of like junky box of stuff left over from the summer it's kind of like rocks and seashells mixed together I'm going to pop this into the base of my plunger don't laugh at me you guys but I do like to repurpose and reuse. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a couple of the Dollar Tree Christmas trees. These are just the little mini um, trees and I'm using two of them and I'm hot gluing them and kind of holding them up to the top base part of this plunger. It is easy to lay this down and then zip tie it all together but for video purpose so you guys can see what I'm doing I am standing up with this. I added one more inside of that zip tie and then I'm just going to hot glue and zip tie them onto the top part of the plunger. They're a little bit weebly wobbly as is so we're going to really um, just safety these up by adding in a couple more zip ties I'm a safety girl and I want to make sure that nothing flops off I ended up using three of the zip ties and I think last year I just hot glued them and let me tell you one of you guys suggested that I use the zip ties and it worked so much better the next thing you want to do is a fluffy duffy out your Christmas tree and there's my awkward mom dancing I know you guys love it when I do that so just take and really fluffy out the Christmas tree and you can even kind of work some of the branches into the other branches as you go. Now once I really fluffied out my branches, I did want to cover up the part where I had zip tied, so I did just go ahead and wrap some more of those branches with some of this burlap. Now hindsight 2020, I could have just wrapped this once I had got into this point. Okay, so you guys don't have to wrap it and then rewrap it. But hey, you guys, I craft as I go and I share my ideas with you. So just roll with it and learn from me. The next thing I did was go ahead and take some of this greenery. I popped it off of the stems and then you can see that I'm just hot gluing it and then popping it into the little Christmas tree. Now this is totally extra. You guys don't really have to do this part, but I do think it makes it look kind of special. And this is just some of that Dollar Tree greenery. I love this like sparkly kind of furnished greenery that they have out for the holidays. I think it's really nice. It looks really high end. So I did use two uh, bundles of the greenery and then three trees total. Um, but these are great for centerpieces, you guys. The plunger tree centerpiece is kind of my claim to fame, I guess, for every holiday. I like to do a fall one and a Christmas one. I think I even did an Easter one last year. Now I'm using some of these Dollar Tree just little ornaments and I'm going to hot glue them into the tree just to give it some zhuzh up. And kind of like at this point in time, you guys could totally stop. Um, but you guys know me, I kind of like to go over the top and pretty much use everything that's in my crafting arsenal. That's personally how I love to do it. Now take some ribbon and fold it over on itself and make a cute little bow if you so choose. Again, you could stop wherever you want at any point, depending on the supplies you have on hand and the budget that you want to do for it. But I'm just going to pop this cute little bow. Again, this is some Dollar Tree ribbon and this was from the fall season. It is wired. So that does help your ribbon stand up really nice. Now fluffy duffy out your ribbon and give it a little zhuzh up. That will help make it really cute. You can add some tails to the side and kind of float them down the side of this. I think this is something that's really cute and you would see, you know, in a high-end boutique and you guys can really customize this to suit whatever decor you love. 
So if you're doing glam, you could do some white trees with some glam gold ribbon. You guys can change up this ribbon, honestly, however you love it. And again, stop or keep going, keep adding goodies and just make it look really fabulous. And I do love to zhuzh some of that ribbon. This is more Dollar Tree ribbon. Here's one of those little cute Dollar Tree gnomes. I popped in him into the top and then to cover up my craziness in the bottom that is waiting, um, my centerpiece down here I'm adding in some Dollar Tree reindeer moss and then the leftover bits and bobs of ribbon that I do have I'm just going to kind of pop them into the base and excuse my workstation but hey it's kind of crazy my Christmas crafting studio this time of year so I'm going to zhuzh up some more ribbon here so just add a dibble dabble of hot glue and then you can just kind of zhuzh your ribbon to the side add more ribbon and again that that was just pretty much everything that I had left in my crafting arsenal and then I think I added like a little bobble to the base of it and even a couple of little stems of some of the leftover greenery and red berries that I popped into there but again you guys really customize this I think it came out so fabulous and these are so fun to use next to your mantle in a centerpiece wherever you kind of need that little extra bit of goodness these would be great to give to a neighbor so just have fun with it get creative and go for it for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to take two Dollar Tree Santa placemats and I want to make a no so Dollar Tree pillow. These are so fun and easy to make. You're just going to take your hot glue gun and run it down the front part of your Santa pillow. Okay, you guys, this is such a wonderful way to make a pillow. Now listen, if you guys can sew, definitely sew this with your sewing machine. Now you wanna take the back side of your Santa pillow because you basically want to do this kind of inside out because you're gonna inside this out and then stuff it. Okay, so the other thing is tip for you guys is to make sure that you get your hot glue really thick through here um, and make sure that you really press it down um, because you want to get that really, really, really good on there. You don't want your pillow stuffing to come out. I'm gonna run it down this short side again and I'm even gonna take my scissors and press it down really, really, really good. This thick fabric is probably the best fabric to use to make a no sew hot glued pillow. Listen, I've been making these pillows for years. They work perfectly great. It's a $2 pillow, especially if you already have the stuffing at home. So trust me when I tell you guys that these make great little throw pillows for holiday pillows. Okay, and if you're worried about washing them, just put them in a little basket or pop them on to a little bed or a sofa and spot clean them. You don't have to keep them for 10 years. I don't, you know, I'll keep them for a year or two, you know, and then I'll change them out. That's how I do with them. I spot clean them and I go on about my business. So don't worry about it, you guys. It's just a little toss pillow. You can even just take the placemat and, you know, hot glue it to the front of a pillow that you already have. So just the sky is the limit. Let's not get our feathers in a ruffle about how to wash this little pillow. Anyway, but if you guys want to go all out for it, add a zipper, sew it if you want to. Now, here's the next step. Take some pillow stuffing and stuff that baby. Make it nice and puffy and full. You're going to wiggle your hand around in there really good and make sure you get lots of stuffing in there. The next thing that you want to do is you want to take those ends and tuck them under. This is the hardest part of doing this pillow. It's the only part that I will tell you it's a little bit tricky. You're want to going to want to go really slow on the ends. I always do really good at the beginning and go slow and then I get impatient and try to do too big of an edge on the end don't do that just try to keep going really really slow be very careful you might want to wear finger protectors if you're doing this project because it is easy to burn yourself I have really tough fingers I've been hot gluing for years I had an Etsy shop where I did a ton of wreaths so I don't think I have much feeling in my fingers anymore plus I have neuropathy so I don't I honestly I don't think I have much feeling in my fingers so it doesn't bother me when I burn Burn my fingers really it truly doesn't but if you're sensitive definitely wear little finger protectors or just go really slow and be careful you could even use a low temp glue gun the high temp does hold better I will tell you that also my glue gun I do get off of Amazon I'm gonna link it in my Amazon store I have an Amazon store um, where I just link things for you guys that I love to purchase
purchase, you guys can see that my glue gun and scissors, they probably, they have a ton of glue and paint on them. It's because I use them a ton every day. And these are my tried and true. I love these. I love this glue gun. It's really durable, heavy duty. It's got the stand and all that good stuff. Here's how my pillow came out. Check this out. Okay, so Hobby Lobby is really showing a lot of this look. To me, it kind of looks like a little bit kind of like the 90s when my mom used to decorate with that country living style. It's like that home for the holidays cozy. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm taking my little Dollar Tree mini LED lanterns. These are so fun to play with and I'm going to turn it into a Christmas lantern. So what I want to do is I want to take this pretty little ribbon and this is just some check ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby, I believe. And you're just going to take the ribbon, loop it over on itself and pinch it in the center. This is like my little cheat bow. And then you can take another piece of ribbon to make your tails and tie that around the center of your ribbon and bam you have a cute little bow and it should be fairly symmetrical and then you can give it a little twisty trim those ends off on your ribbon you don't want frayed ends and you can hot glue it to the base of the lantern now this is just really a fun idea you could take almost anything <laughs> add a Christmas bow and some faux greenery and you can have like a little ornament so these are really pretty and sparkling and the other thing that I wanted to add was a little bit of that same ribbon to the top to really make it feel Christmassy and to make it feel somewhat cohesive. So I'm just adding that to the top. And again, this was just like a scrap piece of ribbon from that ribbon roll. And again, this ribbon did come from Hobby Lobby, but check out how adorable this turned out. I thought it was so cute and easy and very budget friendly. I want to share with you guys how to take one of these cute little Dollar Tree Christmas tags and listen, they're adorable on their own, but I removed the little ribbon and I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and I just pulled one of these wooden beads through the pipe cleaner and just flipped the end of that um, piece of the pipe cleaner over on the bead to secure on the end. And then I'm just gonna string some more beads on here. What I wanted to do was give it like a little beaded kind of handle topper thing or mar bobber. <laughs> so I'm just stringing some more beads through here. And then that's gonna give it kind of that wooden tag. I think the you know wooden beads are so cute and they're still all the rage. I see them still everywhere. So I thought this just be a fun way to jazz it up. Now I didn't get the wooden beads though at Dollar Tree. I did order these in a giant pack on Amazon which is totally worth it if you guys like to play with these beads and craft around with them. The next thing I'm doing is just pulling the little pipe cleaner through the top part. So I did leave about an inch or so to where I can just twist that on. And there you guys have a little beaded tag right like that. And then I decided to jazz it up just a little bit more by adding in this cute little ribbon. You take the ribbon, loop it over on itself, cut that off, and then add some tails. Tie those tails off in the center. This is like my total cheat bow. <laughs> and then you can attach that to pretty much any little goodie and make it feel super Christmassy. So I'm just hot gluing this to the top of the tag and then boom, we have this cute little Christmassy tag and it's been zhuzhed up. It was already like really way adorable, but now I feel like we just kicked it up to like the super adorable level. If you guys know what I mean, I'm adding in some cute little greenery and just some other doodly dads. And then I just Think that that's a super fun and these were at the dollar tree and i think they also have these similar to also at dollar general so check that and you don't even have to use one of these exact tags you guys could just pretty much zhuzh up any ornament in the style um, add a little wooden topper to it and there you guys have that now how adorable does this look i did end up hanging this in my dining room i have a really cute little shelf it has all these hooks so i hit i hung some um stockings and then I hung this ornament and some other doodly dads. I just thought this was so fun and a great little budget friendly idea. Next at Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how to jazz up with those Dollar Tree stockings. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree stockings and they are so flimsy. And I want to just go ahead and stuff it with some Walmart bags. You could also stuff it with some pillow stuffing, whatever you have on hand. Get it nice and full to the brim. And then take one of these Dollar Tree mop heads and you could just wrap, wrap it around the top. And you're just going to hot glue it to the top. And it's going to give you that opulent feel that you see at the high-end decor 
hardcore stores with their really nice, full, beautiful stockings. And you would never know that this is a mop head. Now, of course, this is mainly for decor purposes. So if you guys are going to be using this maybe for a stocking to stuff, you might want to buy another mop head and then add that to the back. But I thought this turned out really cute. Now you guys know me, I cannot stop. I have to add some bows. So I added a couple little pre-tied bows and then Dollar Tree also carries that candy cane ribbon. I decided to add that to the little boot of my stocking. I've done these stockings for so long in so many different colors. So you guys have fun with it, get creative. I added a couple of little ornaments up there at the top and then I just tied again a big candy cane bow and it's just a shoelace bow, like a bow you would tie your shoelaces. And then there you have it, have a holly jolly Christmas and you would never know it was one of those flimsy Dollar Tree stockings. Another fun idea I have for you is to take some of those Dollar Tree napkins. If you're using them for some of the crafts I'm sharing with you guys, find the center of it and just use it like tissue paper and pop that into the top of your little holly jolly boot. I thought that was kind of fun and cute. And you know, you can set that around your Christmas tree or just really you can hang it in your kitchen. And again, it just adds some holiday sparkle and shine all ready for a fun and fabulous Christmas. And and again, I really do love how the mop heads are so full and they really jazz things up quite a bit. So I'm probably going to be grabbing a couple more of those. I think they would make a really fun package DIY or even some Christmas trees or some different fun glam ideas. So definitely. Okay, for this DIY, I want to share with you guys how to make a super easy little Christmas wreath. So I'm taking this flocked Christmas wreath. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby or Michael's last season. And then I'm using this roll of Dollar Tree Deco Mesh and I'm simply taking the evergreen branches and kind of poofing them over on each other or crossing them over on each other is what I meant to say and then just pulling out the little red poofs and that's going to kind of fill out your little Deco Mesh wreath. And I would say that the poofs are about 10 to 12 inches. You can do them larger or smaller, however you kind of prefer. I thought I was going to use several rolls of deco mesh, but I didn't want to completely cover up all of the flocking. I think it's really pretty with the evergreen. And so I just kind of gently like um, you pushed it in and out and it kind of, you know, made the little poofs, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I did them on the top part of the wreath and then I also pulled them kind of underneath and around. The next thing I'm doing is I'm taking this cute little Merry Christmas from our gnome to yours, kind of like home gnome um, to yours. And I just took the evergreen branches again and then tied that into the wreath. So I actually haven't really had to zip tie anything or use any pipe cleaners or wires. The next thing I want to do is make this super easy little bow. This is no tools required. So you're just going to take your ribbon and loop it over on itself. And I would say that the ribbon length right here is about 14 inches. And I'm going to do that about four times. And you can see that I'm counting to make sure there's two loops on each side of my ribbon there and then I'm just going to go ahead and trim that off and you can even measure your ribbon from you know your hand to your elbow that's going to be about 12 to 13 inches now you can see I'm measuring to get just a little bit smaller of the ribbon loops and I'm just going to kind of cross them over on itself and kind of keep looping it together and then again I'm going to trim that off as well I'm going to put that on top of my first ribbon you guys can set like a water bottle or a soup can on top of that to kind of keep it steady if you need to again and now I'm going to use this red and white polka dot ribbon or polka dot ribbon <laughs> I got all of these ribbons actually at Michael's no I'm sorry Hobby Lobby this season and so anyway so this is just a really great easy way to make a bow by just taking the ribbon and looping it over on itself and then stacking them together and this is my no tools required bow I've shared this with with you guys before but this is going to be this season and for this season I'm combining the peppermint with the um kind of like cute little country gigum or you could say check and this is just a smaller one again I'm just looping it over on itself I did all of these four times to where there's two loops on each side when you pull that ribbon out so now that I have everything cut and ready I'm just going to find my center of my bow here and then the next thing I like to do is take my scissors and 
add just a tiny notch with my scissors in each side of the ribbon. Now it's going to be really, really small. You don't even want to cut in through the center. You just want to add tiny notches so when you pull your ribbon loops out, they really can pull out really nice and full and pretty. The next thing I'm doing is I'm taking this pipe cleaner and I'm just going to pipe cleaner it together, trim that off, and then push that into my wreath. And I think I just took the evergreen branches again and crossed them over on the center part of my bow. And now you can see I'm taking my bow loops out and I kind of give them a twist. So you want to kind of pull and twist and really play with your bow to give it a nice, good fluffing. Um, and so then look at how cute this looks. Oh my goodness. I think this looks just so stinking adorable already. I wasn't sure how I was going to like those ribbon combinations and I'm actually really crushing on it. I think probably because the red and white palette is the same. And now I'm just going to take kind of some stray cut ribbons and then again, just taking those evergreen branches and crossing them over and kind of zhuzhing this little ribbon to the side. You guys can get so creative with this. Honestly, use whatever ribbons you love. Love, use whatever signs you love and um, just really have fun with it. You cannot mess this up. I promise you anybody can do this. You guys go for it. Do not be afraid of using a little bit of deco mesh and ribbons. The next thing I'm doing is I'm using some jumbo Dollar Tree ornaments and I'm going to hot glue those and stick them into this wreath. And again, just get really super creative with it. Dollar Tree has some really pretty cute little ornaments out right now and they're just really nice fillers. I also love their sweater ornaments. I used them quite a bit in last year's decor and they're making a reappearance. I feel like they Merry Christmas from our gnome to yours. It's just kind of a cozy idea and the cute little gnome. Gnomes are definitely all the rage this season and I'm kind of here for it. Uh, I had um, really started getting into gnomes about a couple years ago. I just think they're so cute. So I added a couple more ribbons and then a couple more little holiday baubles and it's in a cute little gnome off here to the side. I couldn't resist. Again, this is also from the Dollar Tree. So many of these goodies are from the Dollar Tree. And if you guys make and sell these, this would be a fun one to make and sell. I think it's really cozy, really Christmassy, and it's very, I think it could go on anybody's door and it would just make a happy little entrance to anybody's home. So I hope you guys are loving it and are totally inspired to get your ribbon on and your bowing on and all of that kind of fun stuff. Next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys a fun and fabulous way to jazz up some of these Dollar Tree signs. So this is the Sparkle and Shine. It's Christmas time and so many of you guys that found this sign sent me pictures of it and said that it reminded me, um, reminded you all of me because I do love that Sparkle and Shine. So I felt like I just had to share with you guys how to jazz it up. So I'm taking some of this Buffalo Check Plaid ribbon. Now they this ribbon comes in huge rolls at Walmart. Walmart or Hobby Lobby, always use your coupon, but I'm just kind of layering it and ruching it kind of off to the side. So dig into your craft stash and keep some of those extra ribbons because you can use them on your Dollar Tree signs. Now I'm taking some of this Dollar Tree plaid ribbon and I actually cut it in half because it's rather large. I didn't want to overwhelm the sign. And I also want to share this as a trick and a tip because if you're making crafts to sell, you want to cut down some of your ribbon because that will help cut your cost and it will also help you be able to use more ribbon and make your projects look even more beautiful to be able to layer in so much ribbon and sometimes it can get a little costly so if you like to go over the top that's just a little tip if you're working on a smaller project to help you save ribbon but also use loads of it now I'm adding in some of this Dollar Tree cute little elf ribbon Dollar Tree has the cutest tiny ribbon and I love to go in with these little accents 
accent pieces. Again, this is really what's going to draw your eye in is accenting. So we layered in a buffalo check plaid and then another plaid and then going in with this cute little accent ribbon. Again, look into your craft stash, use what you have, have fun with it, and you don't even necessarily have to use this sign. You may have a Dollar Tree sign left over from last year or the year before last or any Christmas sign. You could even DIY a sign and just add some pretty bows to it. It really is going to fancy it up. And this would also be a great gift for a neighbor, a mom, um, just really anybody that loves Christmas time and that loves to get sparkly and shiny. Now, I couldn't resist also adding in some of that sparkly red Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm also making sure that I trim the ends of my ribbon so they look really nice. Again, if you're selling on a craft site or you're making this for a family or friend, you really want to make sure your ribbon ends are really nice and pretty to look at. You don't want to go to work on a project, spend all that time and effort, and then have ribbons that are frayed or icky looking. So take your project to that next step and make it beautiful. It will only um, take you just a couple of minutes to just make it look that much extra special. So continuing to add in some beautiful ribbons with the rest of this red sparkling ribbon. And then I do have some little baubles on hand. And again, I added in some pretty little red ornaments. Those little mini ornaments are great to have on hand for your Christmas crafting. They're so perfect to add into wreaths. And you guys can see I added some in to this cute little sign. I believe I added three. So it didn't take much to jazz this up and just make it look fabulous. And think about this. If you had requested that you had an extra splatter screen and so you just take a splatter screen from Dollar Tree, you're going to need two rolls of deco mesh and then some little floral wire and you're going to start out by taking your floral wire and attaching your first piece of deco mesh to the top of your splatter screen. The trickiest part of doing these is kind of getting the deco mesh around the edge. So you're going to kind of pull it around and then take another piece of floral wire down at the base and just add that on. And then you're going to wind it around and you're going to have to attach it again at the base with another piece of floral wire. So just keep twisting and kind of using those tiny pieces of floral wire to get that attached to the base. Once you guys have that part finished, you're going to double up kind of on the mesh to where you cannot see the splatter screen edges. And then you're just going to kind of wrap that around your splatter screen. So for this splatter screen, the Dollar Tree Deco mesh covered one half, one roll covered one half of the splatter screen. I hope that gives you guys a reference point. Um, all the Dollar Tree Deco mesh though is not created equal. Sometimes there's a little bit more on one roll and a little bit less on another roll. So here's hoping for the best and you guys get some rolls that are a little bit equal. If you can't find Dollar Tree Deco mesh, just grab some at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, or you know, pretty much wherever you guys can find some and you'll probably have to use less rolls because there's usually more rolls on the nicer mesh. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have a problem with the Dollar Tree Deco mesh fraying, you just have to kind of go for it and um, trim off the frays as best as possible. Listen, it's a dollar. It's not the most high quality, but have fun with it. It's just a Christmas craft and it's only a couple of dollars. So continue to wrap your little splatter screen and then you can attach it once you get to the end of your roll with some um, little floral, floral wire. So you can really skip attaching that center part because it's going to stay on there pretty well. But then as you can see, now that I'm down to this last part, you can tuck it under, but then you're still going to want to run like a little piece of wire down at the base and attach that last piece. And now I'm attaching the second roll. So again, I have a little piece of wire and I'm just using like a little tiny piece. You're not going to be able to see it because you're going to wrap that deco mesh over it. So basically you just want to deco mesh this thing to the gills. Try to also pull your deco mesh as tight as possible. Um, and then once you're all the way to the end, you can trim it off and you're good to go. And now comes the super duper fun part. Now here's an easy bow. Take your arm, measure the length of your bow from your hand to your elbow. This is so easy. Once you have that done, wrap, just take the ribbon and loop it over on itself. You wrap it over on itself until you have three loops on either side. And you guys can watch me count. I'm counting to see that I have three layers on each side of my bow or ribbon. Thank you. 
Once I have my all my layers of ribbon, I'm just going to trim off the ribbon and then find the center of the ribbon and then cut little itty bitty tiny notches in the center of my ribbon. Just very, very tiny notches. Also, I did get this ribbon at Hobby Lobby, not at Dollar Tree. So you can get a giant roll though, you guys at Hobby Lobby for like $9.99 and it's a ton of ribbon and always use wired ribbon when you're making your bows. Now I'm gonna begin to pull and twist my ribbon um, loops out. So see how I'm pulling and then twisting those ribbon loops out? That's gonna give you that really nice boutique, beautiful bow. And I just tied off my bow in the center with a pipe cleaner, super easy. That pipe cleaner is going to attach it to the top of my cute little um, splatter screen. Also the handle of the splatter screen I just bent down um, and that's what's using to hold my splatter screen up. So it's not the most sturdy piece of decor. So don't put this in like a high traffic area where it's going to be flopping over a lot. You may even want to put like a little weight so you can see there's the handle of the splatter screen. That's going to be the bottom of your ornament. You could also um, keep the splatter screen straight and just hang this and put the bow at the top. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm just taking some of those little Dollar Tree kind of ting pieces and then I tied a double lo looped shoelace bow. A shoelace bow is just a bow that you use to tie your shoelaces. I'm going in with some Dollar Tree um, mini ornaments. I'm adding a giant glob of hot glue to the center of this and then I'm just attaching those mini ornaments. Also, I am used a couple little mini candy cane ornament pieces that I just um, broke apart from a larger piece you can get those at Hobby Lobby and then this larger candy cane ornament is from Walmart for this next DIY I'm gonna take this scarf and this is a Dollar Tree scarf and I'm just gonna take some really nice sharp scissors and I'm just gonna kind of cut it into pieces I thought this would be a fun idea for creating a lighted um, kind of little garland here so Dollar Tree is selling these garlands and I just are selling these lights and I just went ahead and grabbed a pack of the lights so that's one dollar and then the little scarf is another dollar and then I have another scarf off the side it kind of is remnants from another project so you guys just grab a couple Dollar Tree scarves and you can really kind of shred them to make your um, little garlands or you could just use an old flannel t-shirt or kind of anything that you have on hand is what I use to make these but these are really fun to make and these are great for kiddos um, you could do the scissoring part or you could let them help do the scissoring part and then all you have to do is tie little knots on your lights and these are battery operated lights. Um, I usually don't do them on lights that you plug into the wall, but I mean, you probably could. Um, but I'm just tying them on super easy. I'm kind of going every other one with the little scarf and then the little red ribbon. I did add the red ribbon in. I got the red ribbon from Amazon, but I added that in to kind of give it a little bit of a poof and a pop of color here. Um, so there's that, but you guys really have fun with it. Get creative, make these to suit whatever decor you're loving, and then they're going to be super adorable, just kind of hanging out, giving that little bit of holiday glow and holiday cheer. So here it is about midway done, just lots of tying. This is a fun one to do where you just put on a show and you can just craft away. It does make a little bit of a mess with kind of all the remnants and the fabric and scissoring, but again, this would be an easy one to do with kiddos, grandkids, um, family, friends. You guys could just really get creative with it. And it, if you have fabric at home, I've done these um, short ones and I've even done really long ones that you guys can do. Um, and just, you know, use what you have on hand. You don't even have to go buy scarves or ribbons or anything. I know a lot of you guys have some old clothes that you could kind of shred up and just make this cool little rag garland. I love them so much. I don't know. I've always loved these. I've just always thought they look really cute and kind of cozy country. Um, very fabulous and on a total budget for sure. And if you didn't have the lights, that would work okay too. You guys could use a coat hanger, tie those on to kind of be kind of bendable, or you could just use a string. I've done that as well. Just get creative, have fun with it, and go for it. 
So to get started, I found these adorable Pier One gift boxes. They were $49.99 and I knew we could recreate them using Dollar Tree supplies. So I'm starting out with this Grove Collaborative box and this Dollar Tree baby blanket. I'm just going to go ahead and take my hot glue gun and begin to hot glue the baby blanket to the box. This ended up taking two of the Dollar Tree baby blankets and I chose this black and gray fleece. I thought it would be really nice and subtle to mix in with almost any Christmas decor. I want to go for kind of that glam chic that I saw on the Pier 1 website for those boxes. Now I'm just going to take this burlap. I actually got this burlap at burlapfabric.com. I'm going to leave a little link. They have a $5 off coupon for you guys if you need some amazing burlap for your Christmas crafting. Now I'm just taking some of that Dollar Tree silver ribbon and I'm hot gluing the burlap and the silver ribbon to the bottom of my package and then I'm just going to pull it all the way over to the other side and hot glue it on the other side. And then I'm doing the exact same thing to kind of give it that package look. So just hot glue your burlap and then hot glue your silver ribbon and Dollar Tree does carry a nice burlap ribbon. I just happen to have this on hand, so I'm using what I have. And the silver ribbon from Dollar Tree does have a bit of glitter fallout, but it's not too bad if you love that sparkly look. So here is how it should look once you get the ribbon all glued on. Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to create a really cute little bow for the top of the package. Just create an Olivia bow with two loops of the burlap on each side, twist tight together with some of that silver ribbon and then go ahead and pull your loops out and I will leave a bow tutorial below if you guys need help making bows. Then I'm going to take some of this thinner Hobby Lobby ribbon but again you guys use what you have and again I'm going to make a small Olivia bow by looping it over on itself. You're going to have two loops on each side and you're just going to twist tie everything together to get it secured. Give it a bit of fluffing. Now the Pier 1 did not have as much of a bow on it but you guys know me I love big bows and I cannot lie so I had to go over the top as usual with the bows and I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue it I did add a super generous amount of hot glue so that bow would stay to the top of my package and then I'm just going to go ahead and pull some of the silver loops down and give the thinner silver loops a bit of some curly cues. And here's how it should look with all of your bows and ribbons. Now, Dollar Tree is also carrying this super amazing cedar pick. You guys, I bought several of these and I'm already using a ton of them. So I just clipped off a couple of the tops and I'm hot gluing them in and around the top of my little bow. I noticed the Pier 1 had some greenery and then they also used some pine cones on their package. So of course, we're going to add in some pine cones as well to really dull and glam it up. Now, just think you guys could really use almost almost any fabric that you have laying around to create a box. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to take one of those Dollar Tree signs and I'm just going to make a little pom-pom with this yarn that I picked up at the thrift store. So just take your yarn and loop it over on itself about a million times really and then you're going to pull it off. This would also work on a piece of cardboard but this was the first thing that caught my eye. So I just also am going to tie this off in the center and this is such a fun fast and easy pom-pom palm and then you're just going to run your scissors through the top part of it and run it through the other side and voila you have a very fun little easy DIY pom pom. I love these. I've been using these all through fall and now into Christmas and then I just pinched my ribbon together and added a dab of hot glue on the pom pom went and here we go. I think this is pretty. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY I want to share with you guys how to make some poinsettia bundles. I'm going to take just some Dollar Tree poinsettias that I had um, cut. They're already pre-cut. I'm going to use about three or four of them and then just these cute little berries. And then I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and just wrap the pipe cleaner all the way around them. So what I'm doing with these poinsettia bundles is I'm going to be attaching these into my large outdoor garland to give them a really pretty glamorous effect and make it really, really look high end. Um, 
I didn't want to leave the bundles together because I didn't want it to look too full. I wanted them to be really pretty and tight, almost like they're a bouquet. So I'm gonna make about six to seven of these for my large outdoor garland that's gonna go over my door. So again, you just take your um, poinsettias and you pinch them together and then you just add that pipe cleaner. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how to blink out one of those Dollar Tree stars. Dollar Tree carries these really pretty big stars. And I'm just going to take some of these jewels from totallydazzle.com. You guys know I love their jewels. They come out to about $1.50 a piece and they sell them in big packs. So if you love to craft with bling and also if you love to craft with bling and resell your crafts, these are a really great deal. I know I used to sell on Etsy and it was so expensive to try to find a good deal on jewels. Now you can also just use some jewelry that you may have laying around, maybe a broken earring or a memory brooch or something like that, but you're just going to hot glue these directly to the center of your star. And then what I did is I popped these in to the base of my pretty little um, garland here. They were a little big and weighty to put too close to the top, but they made a really pretty accent piece to finish off this beautiful over the top glam blinged out garland you guys for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how you can take some of your 4th of July leftover stars and cut out some paper and make them into a beautiful Christmas star. Or I'm actually going to use these on my harvest Christmas tree, my fall Christmas tree. So I'm just tracing them out first. So trace the pattern out first and then add your pretty paper. So I'm using this black and white check. It's kind of like a Mackenzie Child inspired um, paper. You can get this at Hobby Lobby. It's about 69 cents. You guys can also look for their sales and really load up on crafting paper. Okay, I love this one. Um, and I did load up on it, so I've had quite a bit. Um, but it's going to go really nicely in with my fall harvest tree. I cannot wait to share with you guys how pretty it looks. I do have some of the black and white check ribbon, so that's going to go perfectly. Now for the other star, I chose this white with this gold um, polka dot. This one was a little bit more more pricey. It was a really heavy duty paper, which is kind of nice when you're Mod Podging because it didn't give me any bumps. The little black and white one kind of gave me some bumps. Now I want to embellish the front of my stars. And for these, I kind of wanted to go for a neutral. My idea is to create something that is going to go from my fall harvest tree onto my regular Christmas tree. When you do all that crafting work, it's nice to have something that works as a dual purpose. So I'm adding in um, just this cute little bow. So I tied a bow like I would be tying my shoelace. I trimmed off the ends and then I'm adding in some little um, pine cones. Now these are some mini pine cones that come in a packet. You can find these at Dollar Tree. I actually found them just recently. And then I added some of those little gold um, vase fillers. You can also find those at Dollar Tree. They're kind of seasonal, so you may have to wait a little bit closer to Christmas. But you guys dig into your craft stash. I know you have some little baubles. I also thought pearls would be really, really pretty. Always remember that my crafts are just an inspiration. And so you guys look around your craft stash and see what you might enjoy using. So I added them to my far my fall harvest Christmas tree. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I love to share with y'all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And for everybody that comes back and loves on me, thank you all so, so much. I am gonna hug your hearts so tight, and just I want to encourage you, no matter where you're at in your crafting and decorating and your life journey in general keep up the good work don't give up every day that god has given us a new day a new chance to open our eyes and be a blessing to the people in our lives that we love and just those around us um you know take that chance smile put your best foot forward and just do your best so i just want to encourage you guys to do that and if you're doing crafts give yourself some grace i can't tell you how many times i have spilt paint glue messed up a craft and sometimes 
sometimes I'll keep going, it'll turn out okay, and then sometimes I just have to scrap it and start over, and sometimes it turns out pretty amazing. So give yourself grace, keep trying. Just remember, sometimes it's about um, the process and not always about the finished product. So also remember to be kind online. You're on a social media page right now, so fill up this comment section with joy and positivity. There's a lot of negativity out there, and we can uh, put positivity out there. When you do that, positivity is going to come back to you. So anyway, I love y'all so, so much. If you need prayer, drop a prayer request down below. Thank you for everybody that's here. Thank you guys um, just for your love and support and your kindness. I'm a one woman show. It's me, um, you guys, my little crafting table and this camera. So thank you guys again. I love y'all. I can't wait till next week. We'll be doing more fall crafting and maybe I'll throw in more Christmas in July if you guys love this. <laughs> until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I love you.